Lance. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, David. It's been a long time, a long time since I stood between these two legends right here. This is so awesome. I want to tell you something. Uh, thank you all for being here. They said that uh, uh, tonight is supposed to be some sort of tribute to my career, but tonight, to me, is a tribute to these guys and all of these great Memphis wrestling legends. Dave, you know as well, if it were not for these two guys right here, I, there would be no King Jerry Lawler. I would I would not not be here. That is the honest to goodness truth. And uh, how awesome, one more time, how awesome is it to see Lance and Dave back together again? That, that didn't come through Memphis, which, you know, by the way, uh, I love to say, and the guys love to remind me, everybody, uh, everybody just about everybody, yeah. anybody in the WWE either started right here in Memphis or came through Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell a little story real quick, real brief, because he's back there waiting. Um, three weeks ago, I was in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm sitting at a, at a big Comic-Con signing autographs, doing sketches and everything, and it's like 200 people in line, there's thousands of people at this thing, and all of a sudden I had my phone sitting in the desk in front of me, I'm signing autographs, and I looked down, my phone was ringing, and it, I looked on the, on the caller ID, and it was Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, I told the person, and I said, hey, hang on a second, let me take this call from Stone Cold Steve Austin, little name dropping, right? I swear to God, I pick up the phone, I said, hello, Steve. He said, hey, King, what you doing? I said, I'm at a Boston Comic Con signing autographs. He said, I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm just sitting here at home in Broken Skull Ranch. And he said, I'm watching some old Memphis wrestling on YouTube. And he, said, he said, that damn Jerry Calhoun was a hell of an underrated referee. Wasn't he? <laughs> I swear to God. That's out of the blue. Stone Cold Steve Austin sits at home, watches Memphis wrestling from the past. It's great, I'm telling you. And you two guys are what made it what it was and what it still is today. These two guys and a few other people who have come through this area, like uh, we got some special ones here tonight, and I think uh, we may get a few of them to just come out here and say hi real quick. WWE Hall of Famer. You guys, I know both of you remember Giant Frazier, the Plowboy. Giant Plowboy Frazier came to me one day and he said, "The King, I got this. I got this little kid up in Union City, Tennessee. That really wants to get started in the business." And I said, "Is he any good?" He said, "He's great." I said, "Well, Plowboy, if you say he's great, I'm gonna take your word for it." And that kid was great. And it was Coco Beware, man. It's great to have you. You've had a great career, Coco. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, wrestling fans. Thank you, Memphis! Oh, it's good to see you, Lance. Oh, my God. Good to see you. I'm telling you, man, it goes back, man. I'm, you're the you're best commentator in the world. Danny Brown, brother, you're the best, too, man. I'm telling you, you guys, man, carried it. You carried it. You made wrestling what it was and what it is today. Yeah. And another fella, I want to say the king, and he was just like a father to me back in the day. Hold on now. I mean, you know, when Plowboy introduced him to me and stuff like that, and Jerry said, yeah, is he any good? Well, you know how big Plowboy Frazier said, yeah, neighbor, he's good, you know. The boy's good. And he stood like that with two elbows and stuff like that. So Jerry said, I tell you what, bring him on down to Blava, Arkansas. I want to take a look, take a good look at him. 
when I went to Blytheville, man, yeah. I went in there and, and uh, had a wrestling match, and, and Lawler said, you know what? Can you make Memphis wrestling? I said, what? Can you make Memphis wrestling? And I also never had butterflies all in my little belly and everything like that, you know. Yeah, but I know it's big now. Oh, oh boy, you got jokes, huh? Okay. Wait a minute now, okay, don't have a flashback. But anyway, man, you know what? And the first time I was on the Memphis te or ever uh, TV match in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, against Joe LaDuke, one of the meanest guys in the world. And I tell you, Joe LaDuke, man, he just beat me like a drum that I wore at the time. And I'm telling you, I didn't wake up to the week after. But it all came down to with Jerry Lawler to get that believed in me and gave me that opportunity. And, and took me all the way to the WWE Hall of Fame. And it started right down here in Memphis, Tennessee. And I want to thank Lance, I want to thank Dave, I want to thank all the wrestlers back there that supported me, all the promoters that believed in me, that this little fella came from Union City, Tennessee, made it all the way to the top. Thank you.